So I have been traveling around the country teaching this whole idea of what I call entrepreneurial job development. And as you can imagine, I've gotten all kinds of responses. And I'm often asked, so how are people in the field responding to this idea? Are they really using it? And I actually have two um, images that come to mind with that question. One is I was speaking to a group of 300 special ed teachers in, at a conference in Florida. And there was a woman in the audience who was sitting there with her arms crossed, her brow was furrowed. You could tell she so did not like what I was teaching. And I had spent like half a day teaching the whole employment proposal job creation idea. So I'm looking at her and I'm thinking, you know, I don't, I say to the crowd, I don't want anyone to leave here with a question or a concern that they've not had addressed. And I'm looking right at her. So if there's anything that anybody wants to say, please ask your question. And so at the end, she raised her hand and she said, well, actually, uh, Ms. Bissonnette, um, some of my colleagues and I are, uh, feel quite offended by what you've suggested here this morning because we feel that you have implied that we have been limiting our students' opportunities by practicing traditional job placement. And my response was, I'm sorry. I don't mean to imply that at all. I mean to assert it so boldly that there is no question that that is what I'm saying. And it's not because you're not totally creative, intelligent, and hardworking, but here's the problem. We all limit ourselves and the world by things we've seen and not seen, by exposure to things we've had and not had. They say there are 25,000 different kinds of positions in the North American economy. So if you were to pick up a pen and paper and write down every job you've ever heard, how many do you think you'd come up with? Actually, I'd, I'd like to try this sometime. But I'd be proud if I came up with 500. There are 25,000. Tell me that I don't automatically limit people by exposure to things I've had and not had. But if you notice with the employment proposal, with the idea of true job development, we're taking down those walls because we're open to any possibility. We're asking people, what would you like to do and what kind of environment? Hey, we'll name it later. So by the way, she didn't end up liking me any more at the end than she did at the beginning, and that's totally okay, because you know what? This isn't for everyone. And in fact, often when I teach, when I do an intensive two-day job development course, I will begin by saying, I'm not suggesting that this is like the way to do it. It's one way to do it. You know, do what's working for you, but here's a color you might add to your palette. But I remember another training when I was out in British Columbia, and there was a man who ran a supported employment program in a small town in British Columbia. And at the end of the training, he says, no, Denise, this is the way we're going to do it. I'm going to buy your book. We're going to go through e every chapter like a book club with the staff. This is the way we're going to do it. And I'm thinking, well, good luck, good luck with that. You know, like nobody wants to be told this is the way you have to do it. However, what I received from him six months later was the front page of the local newspaper, which read, local think tank grows local businesses. And there were three columns of examples of positions that this employment, supported employment agency had created in the community, in the hospital, at the pet groomer, in the beauty shop. They never mentioned the word disability once. They never used the word job coach, supported employment. It just simply said at the end of the article, if you too would like to grow your business, call us at. How rockin' cool is that? They totally changed the role they played in their community. So here are two examples of the extremes, people who are close to it, people who are open to it. I think most find themselves somewhere in between. It is one tool they add to their pack.